And Logan Gay is here. She actually spoke with a legal expert about some of the latest developments. And Logan, what does she have to say? Well, Felicia, she told me what we're seeing is unusual because of where and how Richard Allen is being housed. During the hours long hearing, Richard Allen's team focused their time, arguing his appearance and state of mind are proof he should be moved from a maximum security prison to the Cass County Jail. Our legal expert, attorney Stacy Juliana, says his appearance is concerning and his accommodations could be doing more harm than good. He hasn't been convicted of anything. He hasn't committed any misconduct in jail, but yet he's being held in a small cell where he's having no contact with anyone, and that's deteriorating his mental health. That is very unusual and very extraordinary. So that's why there's not a lot of precedent out there. The judge also ordered the state prison to start recording Allen's visits with his attorneys. Juliana says the fact they were doing that in the first place is troubling. The privacy with your client is pivotal. I mean, that is the um, most important thing when you're preparing for trial. I mean, how can you represent someone if you can't have the confidence between one another? So, um, yes, it's very important and it's something that his attorneys are rightly concerned about. Uh, and it's very extraordinary that they're videoing him. Another big development came from the prosecution, saying Allen confessed several times to the murders, but the defense called his statements vague and inconsistent. His mental state has declined, and the attorneys have been putting the court and the prosecutor on notice of this, and if it rises to a constitutional violation the way that they're holding him, then yes, I do think it could be suppressible. The trial is set to begin on January 8th and is set to last three weeks. And Juliana says there's a lot of preparation that goes into that, saying Allen's lawyers will need the ability to meet with him more. And Logan's here. What else did the judge decide today? Well, Felicia, she announced she will be unsealing multiple documents next week. This comes after our team appealed to both the judge and the Indiana Supreme Court administration to release those documents. Okay. Thank you for this update. And 13 News, we've been on top of this story since the beginning. You can find all of our past coverage, plus the latest breaking developments in the case.